All right, let's talk about squash bugs today. But first, I have released the base. And I'll show you what I mean. Right here. I have opened the door to these chickies. I'm pretty excited. The reason I was like in desperate need of some pest control, and I'll show you why. And let's look at my spaghetti squash plant that came up volunteer. It looks pitiful. I know, pitiful. And just a couple of days ago, it looked beautiful. But now there are, let's see if I can find some. Yeah, right there. Squash bugs everywhere. Look at them everywhere. So I was desperate. So I pulled out my butternut squash plants yesterday evening and I'm thinking that that was a mistake because now they have went everywhere. There were so many. I didn't realize how many squash bugs there were. This is where my butternut squash was. And you can see there's like, I mean, yes, I have weeds. It kind of went a little crazy. But you can see that there's straw right here. They were all in this. They were, and you can see there's still some climbing up on the side of my raised bed. They were going everywhere. They were up in the grass. It was quite disgusting. I wish I would have videoed it because you guys would have seen. It's just, they. I could not believe how many there was. So then I'm over here and I'm pretty sure there's a couple on my new cucumber plants over here. I have an acorn squash plant that they're on. <clears throat> that was old seed that I just, I thought, why not? But I really wanted to see what it would do before frost. I've got some watermelon plants that we planted from seed, some old seed that I just wanted to see what they would do before frost. And I'm not sure that that is gonna work now if I don't do something about these. Now I don't like to use any like chemicals or anything like that in my garden just because I, I just don't. I'd like to go as organic as I can. So while I can probably put seven dust on stuff and I'm sure the it'll kill the squash bugs, I would really like to find a different solution. So these are all my new cucumber plants and I've got just a bunch of different ones. I've got new seed for next year and I wanted just to try some, but you can see right there, squash bug. Now I'm not sure if they will actually stay on cucumber plants. I don't really don't want to wait and see because they can really do some damage. So I've really got to get something figured out. So I've released the beasts and they have found stuff in here. Not... So hopefully they will find the squash bugs and not be worried about the tomatoes down here or be scratching and all that. Maybe they'll move up there. I have no idea if chickens eat squash bugs. I don't think we've ever had them like this before. All right, so let's go over here and I'll show you how many I actually pulled out of my garden. I think I had eight plants, eight, uh, butternut squashes to start with and then I think a couple died and the, the plan is I'm gonna mow this off because of all the weeds I'm gonna mow it off I actually have two pepper plants still in there that are doing well I think I'm gonna plant some more zucchini and some yellow squash and we're gonna see how that what goes I just want to kind of push the season and see how far see how much I can grow this year of vines you can see I still had some little squash it's just they looked so bad and there are still, there are still bugs, little squash bugs all in that. The pumpkin plant did awful. Every time it would get a bloom and it would just get like the pumpkin would get about this big, it would, the blossom would mold and it would just, it would, because of the squash bugs, they were just, they were killing it. Let me show you these. The ones that I pulled off the vine and you can see the squash bugs, I don't know how they find them. And I don't really even know where they come from. I really need to look that up because I am really curious. You know, like a lot of these, uh, like tomato worms and the cabbage worms and stuff like that come from moths as far as I know. But I have no idea what the squash bugs, I guess. Like, how do they find the plants? Because they, they are like really good at, do they live in the ground and they just somehow find them? I don't know. Do they have like some kind of sixth sense or something? Because it's really annoying. <laughs> here I'm gonna put another one here this is my little bitty uh, orange lunchbox pepper and then I have a red one where's it at yeah it's right there and you can see all the weeds and things I'm gonna have to mow this off and the plan is to actually put three more raised beds in here and I guess I can go ahead and do that I have one of them ready uh, over there so I guess I can now go ahead and put them in they were they were just going everywhere and I, I can they're still they're right here let me show you right here 
on this raised bed as well. I don't know if you can see them in the sun there. They're just everywhere. They're just, ah. Look at them grouped. I need to get a board and smash them. And I had cucumber vines up on this uh, cattle panel yesterday and I had decided to go ahead and cut the bottoms of them, let them die off because they were looking really sickly because I have new cucumbers planted and I've had plenty so far. They were even on that. It's like they just, oh my gosh, they were going everywhere. But now these pepper plants here are doing really well. Hopefully they stay that way. Um, they are getting more sun now. There was tomatoes here beside it and I think that was kind of hindering them. So now they're doing really well. They've really taken off and getting more peppers on them. So I'm going to leave those for as long as they will produce. You can see more. Ugh, they're just everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna do some research on this, and if I find anything, I will definitely share. But if you find anything, or if you know something, share it below and let me know. All right, I ran inside and did some research on squash bugs and how to get rid of them, which evidently is not super easy once you have as many as what I have. And I'm pretty sure they are really hard to kill, but I can already see that some of my plants, my cucumber plants are wilting. So I definitely gotta do some stuff here. So the plan is to pick as many as I can off. I don't know how that's gonna work. I even thought about bringing a little, um, one of my little vacuums out here and sucking them off the plant. That's still not a bad idea because I don't like bugs touching them. Someone also used duct tape rolled around their finger and pulled off all the eggs like that. So these cucumber plants I'm assuming do not have eggs yet. You can see that like some of them over there are already wilting on the bottom and these over here these were perfectly fine this morning and there's one crawling on it. So they work pretty fast. I've really got to get with it and pick these off. But the other is the insecticidal soap spray. So you can spray it on them and they do not like the soap. You have to be careful, especially right now. It's, it's getting close to noon. The sun is up high and this is the hottest part of the day here, but that sun is gonna beat down on the plants and I'm afraid to spray that very much. So it looks like I will be picking some off, but I also watched a video on when you pick them off, you can actually put them in a bowl and then spray them and that will kill them. It takes a few minutes, but it does actually uh, get rid of them. So I see them crawling. Oh, so I gotta do this. I gotta get rid of them. But the chickens evidently are enjoying the garden. They're not really eating what I was hoping they would eat. They're going all through here, probably looking for nice red, orangish tomatoes. And they have been <laughs> scratching like crazy in here. So hopefully maybe they are doing some good. They are, I can tell that they're making kind of a mess in here. Okay, you're gonna think this is probably hilarious, but I just ran into the house. I had this great idea. <laughs> I went and got some tongs. I'm not touching them, so I'm gonna pull them off with tongs, and then I'm going to put them in this jar that I have someone gave me. I'm pretty sure it's a dressing jar. All right, so I had a little bit of water out here, so I went ahead and put some water in this. I put a little bit of soap in there so you can see it's nice and soapy so we're gonna see how this works I'm probably not going to use my sprayer yet let's go kill some squash bugs so back after what seems like the umpteenth million thing to do or interruption or something I have my tongs and my little dressing vase of soapy water so let's go pick some squash bugs off these plants quite unpleasant but it's kind of satisfying because there are some in there and they they are definitely dying and I see now that it looks like they actually the adults have wings I did not know that I got all kinds of stages in this little jar all right now it's time to tackle the spaghetti squash but they were definitely already doing damage to my poor cucumber plants like it's already noticeable so let's do the spaghetti squash. But this is like two days. Two, two days. It's crazy. Yeah, they definitely fly because I just saw one fly. Um, but yeah, two days and it's, it looks like it's about done for.
chiki 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 okay maybe not so i've gotten the majority of them i'm pretty sure it is rather humid out oh i see another one <laughs> and then i say that and i just keep finding more <sighs> But the plan now is to cut off the dead leaves like this that they can hide in and then I'm going to check the undersides for eggs with some duct tape and get those pulled off. I'm back with some duct tape, a bucket, some scissors and the plan is to snip off this dead stuff because they get in and they hide underneath that. A lot of this is just going to be snipped off. It's dying anyways. Then I can kind of see where I have gotten them from I'm sure there's no there can still be oh, eggs on these Let's see there's eggs on that one I saw that you can also use a lint roller I saw a video on that it's rather warm outside right now probably not the best time to be doing this but evidently you can they just huh they come right off of there It's like they hide in those little folds and they just inject toxins in the plant and they, it's like they feed off the plant and that that it just like it just wraps around them rather humid out here so I think I'm gonna wrap this up and maybe come back out here either tomorrow morning or this evening and do some more bug hunting all right I'm back out here the next morning didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done with the squash bugs yesterday, but I did spray them yesterday evening. So I'm gonna do a little check and see how that went. Um, I did use my sprayer with the water and soap mixture in it, and it seemed to work really well. So I let the chickens out in the garden yesterday, hoping that maybe they would, you know, help with the pest uh, control of the squash bugs. Not sure that that actually helped. They were more interested over in the tomato plants and I can see where they've just scratched everything and they also did this so that does not make me really happy they're testing them and of course they're not ripe yet maybe put the water in first next time <laughs> these leaves that are curling up are the ones that they really seem to like and this is why so when they curl up they hide in them these are soaking really good not moving too well now normally he would really he would be crawling up there he went so see there's a bunch of little ones right here these are like baby ones they are so tiny these probably didn't hatch too long ago I've gotten most that I can or that I could see on the squash plant and the cucumber plants over there but I'm gonna show you it came over here to one of my raised beds that used to have cucumbers in it right next to actually the butternut squash that was here and I pulled it out and they went right up to the raised bed and on to the side of the wood and I did get some yesterday but I'll show you where you can usually look for them at so right here there's some taller grass because you know weeds in the garden but a lot of times if you just pull this back I had just big groups of them right here but like there's one there I'll get him but you can actually see you can see some of them down in there that I got yesterday or yesterday evening but I just spray them really good and they will, I think some of those were actually maybe sprayed yesterday and were just kind of still stuck on there. There's one there. Get him. There's a smaller one. But they were all, they were all like up under here. Look what I found. Can you see him in there? A little bitty lizard. Little bitty guy. 